Throughout the month of September, the focus is shifted onto Alzheimer's disease with International Alzheimer's Day falling on the 21st. It's a month set aside to raise awareness and hopefully one day find a cure. Alzheimer's is a progressive disease that destroys memory and other important mental functions. It can get severe enough to the point that it interferes with day-to-day -day life. And this morning, Andrea joins us talking about how the correct diet can manage this very serious condition. Andrea, thank you so much for joining us this morning, oh, talking about this welcome. very serious topic. Mm. Now, Alzheimer's, um, we're all familiar with it, we're all familiar with the term, but in a nutshell, what exactly is it and, and what's the symptoms? Well, the, the major, well, it's a condition that predominantly affects the elderly and it's characterized by memory loss. And it's something that seems quite trivial, but it is severely debilitating, um, especially amongst the elderly. I mean, you feel insecure already, um, dealing with loss, all sorts of things like that. And then not being able to remember is a, an incredible frustration. So um, they're doing so much research to try and find a proper treatment management and diet is far from treating it properly, I must say, but they've done lots of research showing which foods are actually good to help maintain healthy brain cells, um, the nervous system, and can probably delay the onset of um, Alzheimer's or help manage the symptoms. Brilliant. So in which way can food now, if we take a look at specific foods, how can they manage some of the symptoms that Alzheimer's are familiar with? Well, the first food I'd like to mention is the lovely piece of salmon in the front there. Yes, and which it is, looks delicious. Yes, it's a it does. Yes. There. It looks great. Um, so that um, is a rich source of omega-3 fatty acids, which throughout our lives, from, mm. um, we spoke about this before, from when a woman is pregnant for the brain development throughout infancy, childhood, adulthood and through um, older age, the um, omega-3 fatty acids are really important to help maintain healthy brain cells. Okay. So that's one food that's, that's really beneficial and next to it is also one of my favourite foods, an avocado. Love avos. And the reason why it's there, it's, it's packed with vitamin E and vitamin E is also a very important nutrient for the maintenance of healthy brain and nerve cells and also for the management of Alzheimer's disease. Right, and then you've got some, some bread, we have some gooseberries, what are these ones? Oh and yes, well talking about the berries, yes. um, they're packed with antioxidants. So apart from the fact that they look good and taste good, um, they also contain um, antioxidants that help maintain healthy brain cells. Brilliant. Now what, from a supplement point of view, is there anything that, that just takes all these foods, puts it in one and really makes it easier for someone just to get the right nutrition in? Well, a good multivitamin will take you a long way because it contains nutrients like omega-3, B vitamins, vitamin C, antioxidants, etc. But if I can single out two, and that's why we've got the bread there. Okay. Bread is a rich source of B vitamins. But if you look at the um, Alzheimer's disease that affects the brain and nervous system, you actually need to take a supplement. So they've done quite a bit of research on this. And Vital makes a product called Maxi B. Maxi B. So like the name indicates, it's a high strength vitamin B complex. And this will definitely also help with the maintenance of healthy brain cells, but also with energy management for somebody with Alzheimer's disease. Wow, and the Chinese green tea, yes. I see in front of me as well. Obviously you should include that to your diet as well. Definitely, that's one of the more recent research reports that has shown how beneficial green tea can also be in the delaying the onset of Alzheimer's and also managing memory and concentration, which we never knew before. And often people say to me, but you know, they don't really like green tea. And that's why Vital makes this delicious fruit infusion green tea that tastes good. Because to get the benefit, you have to drink two to three cups a day. Okay, and it's delicious. I mean, green tea, if you make it right, then, then it's really, well, you can, you can it's make it good. the fruit infusion, it is delicious, <laughs> yes. <laughs> exactly. Bringing it back to the research, someday in the future, hopefully managing or even preventing um, Alzheimer's. I mean, where are we standing at the moment? Well, um, they've made quite a bit of progress. So the treatment options are sort of more um, comprehensive at present. And we also know from a young age, if you have a family history of Alzheimer's and you're worried about the genetic risk, mm -hmm. that there are certain dietary factors that you need to be um, aware of. These foods that are really yeah. important for healthy brain function. Um, but we're far from a cure, unfortunately. So. Hopefully they'll continue with this research and, and find a way to properly manage it. Andrea, thank you so very much. Now, of course, this is a huge topic to be talking about. So you can ask your questions to Andrea on her Facebook page about it. Andrea Duplessis, Vital Expert. You can also find out more on our website, expressoshow.com. Trust Vital for your family's health.